Do you want your child with special needs lead a life of independence? Do you want to know why this independence is so important to our children with special needs? Then this video is going to help you a lot. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about 10 reasons why independence is so important especially in the context of our children with special needs. So stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel Dignity and Disability and I'm Anuradha Deshpande, mother of a young man experiencing intellectual disability and I'm also a clinical psychologist, counselor, and a special educator, and founder director of Care and Care Life Skill Academy. This pandemic turned me into a digital disability life skill coach. And the reason for that is during the pandemic, due to the absence of regular therapy, our children suffered most. And parents found it very difficult to cope with the struggles of their children. And at that point of time, I decided that being a professional is not enough. We should be training parents across to help convert the skill taught by professionals into something more meaningful which help their children to build life skills so that they can achieve independence and lead a life of dignity. So here is my mission, mission to empower 100,000 parents of children with any form of developmental disabilities to help them navigate into a life of independence and dignity through life skills. And that's why I devised an entire course for parents which will help them learn about these life skills and prepare a program for them and then go ahead to teach their children and through my channel dignity and disability i bring two weekly episodes of tuesday tats and friday facts and these videos are the outcome of my 30 years of association in the field of disability, both as parent and as a professional. So in this today's Friday fact, I brought out this very, very important topic, not only for the children, but also it is so close to my heart that building independence in our children with special needs. So uh, through this video, I'll bring out 10 reasons why independence is so important to our children. So let us go into the presentation and talk more about it. So welcome back. 10 reasons why independence is important to our children with special needs. The drive for independence is instilled in us right from the beginning of our life. A baby is very quick in deciding about what they want to play with, what they would like to eat and uh, with whom would they like to be with. These are something decided by babies from a very early babyhood. So it's a, it's an inherent need for all of us to be independent. Typically when we define independence, it is like living in your own home and working to pay for the living expenses. The UN Convention on the Rights of People with Disability defines independence for persons with disabilities as having individual autonomy. Every individual should have their own autonomy. They, would, they should be able to decide on what they want and how they want and how to go about doing their own tasks so individual autonomy is very important 
the opportunity to be actively involved in decision making process it is not just being independent in your own self care skills or other skills so they should get an opportunity to make decision as to uh, where they want to work what they want to work and whom they want to hang out with all these distance they should be able to make themselves and uh, also they should have abundant opportunities to experience the physical social economic and cultural environment in order to make our children independent we mostly work on their physical skills and to some extent we work on their cognitive skills and very small percentage of time we devote to social skills but what about their emotional skills and their economic and cultural skills so we have to equip them with all these domains of development so that they can enjoy complete freedom and complete independence we all talk about independence of our children with special needs why is independence so important and we will now see 10 reasons why it is so important number one reason is it promotes confidence and self esteem as well as motivation and perseverance in school and other activities independence promotes confidence when you are independent in most of the activities then you feel so confident about yourself and confidence builds self esteem when you are in good self esteem you can do so many activities then you will automatically be motivated to do certain more activities and even if you have any difficulty you will don't give up you will just persevere because that is what independence do to you it really encourages you to take up any even challenging task because you are confident and you know you can do it with little more effort or little more uh, perseverance so that's why independence is very important second reason is it fosters self reliance allowing your child to feel that they have control over their life when your child becomes independent they would have learned that for any activity they can do it on their own and they don't have to depend on others so if they want to have a breakfast of their choice they don't have to depend on you they can go and make their own uh, breakfast for themselves if they are independent they will very well know that they are reliant self reliant to make the breakfast of their choice and they don't have to depend on you the third uh, reason why independence is important to our child is it gives your child a sense of importance and belonging which is very necessary for social relationship and for contributing to the world if your children are not independent then they are not able to participate in various activities and if they are not able to participate in the activities then they don't feel very important about themselves and they don't feel that they belong to a society children are independent then they can build relationship in the community and they can help others the sense of importance that they can be of help to others is very very crucial for them fourth is it develops the levels of self awareness and sensitivity towards others self awareness is to know about exactly what is happening to them and when they are aware about themselves then they will naturally be able to think about others also and when we say sensitivity towards others that is empathy empathy is a very supreme form of social skill and you can build this skill even in our children with special needs it has a procedure and this has been explained self awareness and empathy has been explained in a great detail in care life skill curriculum and once they know about empathy it will be easier for them to understand what's happening to others and that way they can self regulate themselves in their actions and in their words and in their behavior 
so that they will not trouble others and in, instead they will go ahead and help others it teaches them self motivation as they have the freedom to find their own reason to achieve if they are not independent then we tell them you have to do this and you have to do that uh, to achieve certain things but if they are independent and they know so many skills they will be motivated themselves suppose if they are independent to navigate freely then they would feel motivated to go out on their own and uh, get a pastry of their own uh, toys or uh, go to a theater and watch a movie of their own isn't it such a wonderful thing if they can bring themselves to do so many things as their neurotypical peers can do the next reason is it provides them with the belief that they are competent and capable of taking care of themselves once they are independent they know whatever may be the circumstances they have to work on that and if they have confidence in them even if they are not able to do certain things they will ask for help so independence give them that kind of confidence and belief in them that they can do and this kind of belief encourages lots of resilience to face any kind of external challenge this kind of confidence comes to them because they are ready to believe in their own capacities and capabilities and independence gives them that chance the next reason is it allows them to become a good decision maker as they have the freedom to consider various options before choosing the best one they feel independence gives them that if they cannot pursue one path to achieve something they can have alternative and of other options are available and once they know this then it will be much easier for them to exercise their own choice it develops other vital qualities like patience concentration self help cooperation self discipline and self trust these are all very abstract qualities which we all uh, enjoy and experience if you as a parent and uh, as a special educator or any professionals working with this children with uh, disabilities if you feel that these tasks are too challenging to teach our children and it's very difficult it's next to impossible to teach our children then you have to stop and rethink all these qualities can be developed in your child like any other skill if you think that these are all behaviors then it is very difficult for you to even uh, visualize how you are going to teach them but if you think that these are all skills then you know how to uh, divide them into smaller chunks so that we can teach them and this is precisely what is again explain all these skills are explained in my care lifestyle curriculum under various heads emotional skills or cooperation and uh, self discipline comes under social skills and patience self help concentration all these things are covered under various topics and self trust is covered under emotional domain skill then it gives them freedom to experience life fully learn its many important lessons that's what is our ultimate aim isn't it that our children should be able to learn from the uh, society learn from the environment and that is possible if they are able to experience life around them and they can do that only if they are independent and finally it makes them happy and healthy as they feel great achievement and success as a direct result of their action happy and healthy what more you want for your child this status they can achieve if they feel so good about themselves and they will feel good about themselves when they are able to achieve lot many things in their life and they can definitely achieve lot many things if they are independent because of various skills they have built around themselves so we saw this 10 reasons why independence is so much important to our children with special needs when our children are diagnosed for any kind of developmental disability 
we go around to find the best occupational therapist best speech therapist best behavior therapist and we try to build a lot of skills in them professionals will teach them all the prerequisite skills but it is up to us to consolidate or these skills and put them effectively into practice and build life skills so that they can become independent so how many of these professionals go out and teach you uh, things like empathy or self regulation or self awareness and self image it is up to us as parents to teach these skills to our children and these skills are so essential that once you teach them that it will be easier for you to teach so many other things when they are self aware about themselves they will automatically learn self regulation so they will not indulge in activities which will bother others and if they don't bother others they will learn about empathy and other things and these are some of the skills which can be taught step by step like any other skills and that is precisely what i brought out in my care life skill blueprint and on october 2nd i'm going to launch a 90 days challenge please be on the lookout for that announcement and for that you will have to follow my channel dignity in disability and also be a part of my facebook exclusive group dignity in disability and also visit my website www.anuradadeshpande.com so that's all from this friday facts and i will see you on tuesday with a skill building episode in my tuesday dads till then goodbye and take good care of yourselves